the DNR says that the ice is really strange this year. It's not as consistent or as strong as it should be. Michael Lurkin with the DNR says in one part of the lake, the ice might be about 13 to 14 inches of ice, but just 100 yards away, you might have three inches in that spot. Lurkin says it's all because of the warm weather this winter. Usually we would have had a week or two of below zero temps by now, but instead it's been up and down, freezing and thawing. And then we'll have another freeze and then that freeze creates pockets or air pockets in the ice. We've seen it a lot just in the towing industry itself. James Trantina with Collins Brothers Towing in St. Cloud says they're definitely responding to more ice rescues this year. This year we're at 23 so far. Which is higher than usual this far into the season, and Trantina says it's not just the ice that's to blame, but the virus that's sending more people outside. They're looking for something to do with family and friends. So they've bought their side-by-sides or four-wheelers and fish houses. And a lot of them, he says, are first-timers or have only been out a handful of times. Lurkin says that inexperience can get you into trouble if you aren't careful. Yes, there's a good amount of ice, but I feel like you still, you still need to have that caution about you and, and still check it. This ice issue will be an even bigger problem when things start to warm up in March or early April. The DNR says that the ice will likely melt faster than it usually does, and it will be more inconsistent. They say it's Definitely something to watch out for when things start to warm up later this spring. Gordon Severson, CARE 11 News. Well, the DNR says two people have died this winter after falling through the ice. They say ice is typically safe to walk on when it's at least four inches thick, but stress that no ice is ever 100% safe. For other safety tips, we posted a link on our website at care11.com.